Welcome back to 30XX. I'm Arima, and uh, we're going to go ahead and start up another run, but in between runs, I noticed that this guy wanted to talk to me. So here goes my favorite character. Hero! You're magnificent. Magnificent! You've deliciously bested my challenges to my satisfaction. Allow me to show you my home away from home. My challenge zone. Whoa, dude. It's a little, like, first daity to show you my challenge zone. Here, you can engage in seated daily and weekly challenges against the multiverse's very best and prove your mettle against on the great leaderboard of history. I wish you luck, hero. Not that you need it. Seek glory! And I'll be watching. I mean, I don't mind if you watch. You're pretty cool. I, I kind of actually, like, want to be you. Can I, can I be you? Okay, so here's all of the daily and weekly challenges. We found our way in here before, um, but it was kind of through a parkour uh, thing. Um, we're not gonna worry about that right now. I want to beat the game once. Um, we managed to get to, like, what might be the last area. I got an achievement for it and everything. Um, and I want to see if we can get back to that. Increase the shop choice count. Hell yeah. That's one that I want. Um, Matt's HP, Matt's energy. We're just gonna skip that until we don't have another choice. And increasing starting SP or CP isn't actually like a straight power thing. It just kind of lets us equip more stuff. And I think that's going to be interesting. The other thing we're going to do is we are going to place Ace again, because I want to get a good Ace run going. And now that we know that we can unequip weapons, it's a lot less problematic to try weapons whenever they get offered to us. So, Kitty Cat, what you got for me? Tom Borky or Tom Bor Tombokiri, sorry. Um, <laughs> I just read that wrong. I am dyslexic. Um, or Laura. Um, I think I'm going to go with Laura. And then what's the overcharge? You chuck a hammer out. I can get behind this. Yeah, I can get behind this. What is that? Very safe laboratory. All of your items become scrap. All hell augs become copies of a random aug you have. Well, what's a aug that I have? Hmm. Well, it didn't do anything because I didn't have any augs. It kind of like showed up a little bit too early. But that's a new event. I just immediately ran into that. That's pretty cool. Here's some lore. Pause if you want to read it. And... Arena. Always. Always glory. I miss all the damage I had. Does that go through enemies? Or does it stop on the first enemy? I can see why this character doesn't get some of the insane powers of the other character. Because my powers regenerate. So I did finally figure out how, in case you haven't seen, I did finally figure out how his powers regenerating works. Um, so basically, um, if you see there's like fires on me every once in a while. Basically, the faster I hit enemies and the more often I do damage to them. Ah, yes! I have a scythe! Okay, okay, this is a good run. This is a good run. Um, but basically, the more often I do damage to enemies, um, I build up this like rage bar. And while I'm raging, um, I was watching some footage back, I, I noticed that oh, I have a special air attack. And I just keep it going while I'm on a wall? Oh my god, this is my favorite weapon. Okay, I want to go up there because there's something up there. Uh, of course. Should have seen that one coming. Bunch of scrap. Or not scrap, sorry. A uh, bunch of nuts. Is there something down here? I have learned that there are secrets in these places. So I'm trying to look for them whenever possible. Man, the difference in, in like, platforming sh 
shut up. <laughs> I was about to say the difference in platforming challenges between a level one and like a later level is pretty huge. And then I proceeded to completely mess up. Okay, that was a little close to him killing me. Overkilling enemies by 30 plus since the shockwave. Traitor appears in every level after this one. Attack sh I'll take the smuggler attractor. That has some good long-term potential there. Oh, thank goodness. And then another glory arena. Always glory. Okay, let's go for zero damage here. Take your time, pay attention to what's going on in each room. Okay. So that's not dangerous. Gotta stand like here. Oh, come on! I almost had that. Well, I didn't, apparently. I would have taken da damage. Well, I mean, we got a reward. Double jump. Or, I'm gonna go for double jump because that's a lot more control. Is that equipped right now? It is. Another. Arena? This is a fantastic weapon. I am really tempted to... What's going on there? My attack there, like, freezes enemies in place. I am paying way too much attention. Or sorry, I'm paying not enough attention to what's going on. Yeah, I barely got a reward for that, I'm sure. Fall slowly while using Thanatos midair. Dawnbind is also a new weapon. So I have Thanatos, but... Oh, that's cool. I did manage to break the graphics there, though. Twenty extra HP is always worth it. I I'm 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 legitimately in love with this. I I'm really happy that we got a cool weapon on our first run back to Ace here. Go back to the trader. Twelve is only ooh. I was about to say only enough for this, but that is exactly what we want. That gets us more CP, which allows us to equip more stuff over here on the left side. Um, these are basically like, if you like Hollow Knight, those are essentially like your charm slots. I keep meaning to look up what uh, Steven's name in Steven Universe was whenever he went wrestling, because this, this guy reminds me so much of him. Oh wow, I I was not realizing how close to dead he was. <laughs> I guess I'm doing a lot of damage. Since this isn't the first couple episodes in a, in a series, what do you say? Wow, I can equip so many abilities. Wait, what button is that? There we go. 
That's pretty cool. I'm gonna go for Absolution Penumbra. I liked this area, and it was pretty fucking hard as well. Um, but yeah, what I was about to say is, since this isn't one of the first uh, videos in the series, I'm probably gonna upload most of the run, unless it ends up getting really, really, really long. I kind of hate doing the continues thing. Blackwind howls. It calls to you. Take a stupid risk. Gotta take a shot of that one. It'll be fun. Cores can't be used this level. Charge attach can go smash. Okay. So it puts me back to my basic sword, and I lose my double jump, which I had forgotten that I had anyways. I didn't do this. I would have been way harder later in the run. Plus, we already know how this mechanic works, so that helps. Hey, what's up there? Ooh, smuggler. Almost didn't notice that. Do I have any scrap, though? I don't. Um, and I would need two scrap bits for power efficiency plus 100% of critical HP. Okay, let's... He also sells Torque Cinders. That's really good to know. Back at myself. I'm trying to do the puzzle part of this, but There we go. I was trying to figure out like what happens whenever they hit each other, and I did see at the end there it does seem like um, they like stun each other, but that's about it. Plus 40 HP at the start of each level, 80% increased damage when the cores. Mm. I like the cores though, so we're gonna take the HP. This is basically like um, for anyone who's played Void Rain Burns Her Heart, which. Uh, calling out Void Reigns Upon Her Heart as a reference is about as niche of a thing as I think I can do. Um, but, oh wow, this is a lot easier because I can just skip it now. Um, but there is a mechanic in that game that's very similar to this. Compared to some of the parkour we were doing before, this definitely feels a lot easier. I'm gonna bring the red back. I think that'll be the easiest way to get up here. for the... bolts. Takes a little bit of concentration to do that, even on the easier difficulty there. So that's the first one. I'm just having to remind myself which button is which because it still shows me the wrong buttons. 
broken piece of something of something greater, kind of like you really. Hoots Hourglass. Damage increase after Max Energy Max Armor. That's pretty nice. Especially the max energy because <coughs> Excuse me. I definitely want to uh, try and keep my energy up as, as much as possible. It's going to be a lot harder without the ability to reflect projectiles, but it should also be an easier version of the boss in general, right? Soon. Soon I will get back to using your sight. doing the center thing, you know? So red is fire. Blue is electricity. And that's the black hole. Electricity is realistically our most dangerous option. Oh, I can actually pass through him when he's in, in the center there. go. Now come out here and fight me like a man. There we go. Then I get this. Charges hats go smash. Oh, I can't put my cores back on yet. I think I have to leave the level. Void double. Into the abyss. That is up plus. No. Hmm. Oh. I'm going to assume that's going to cost energy over time. I can't combine powers, can I? No, I don't think so. Let's go to High Hoot, Om Hi Hoot Omega High Volt. Again, dyslexic. Gonna go ahead and re-equip my cores here. And top to this guy. Glory calls, hero! My shop with Matt's HP. Mm. I don't really think I actually want it. So it becomes really not valuable for me to double the freaking boss's HP. Okay, so whenever I do a fully charged a charge attack, the punch thing also punches along with me. Oh, that also resets any double jumps I have. That's very useful. Sort of speedrunning at this point. Okay. I was wrong. Does not reset my double jump.
gotta say, having these mechanics where each level has its own individual mechanic, and the mechanic kind of evolves as you get farther into your run, um, but, like, it's still the same mechanic, and your knowledge about how that mechanic works does still help, is just such a cool way of doing this. Gotta get... Oop, I thought I had a jumbo jump that I didn't have. Touch a wall. Lost my double jump. Should really be doing these dash jumps as much as possible. That's a cool mini boss. It's just a parkour mini boss. Powers do more damage. Grant sets the armor spreadable. Let's go have power do more damage. Hey! That's full. Convenient. I wish I had my power slam right now. It'd be pretty cool to just slam all the way down. I have the best weapon for doing this level. Just become living scythe. Who's the boss now? Penumbra? Making sure I didn't miss anything. Ooh, speaking of missing things, there is a glory room here. I think that's the first glory room in this level. I hope I didn't miss one. Well, there's our first damage. Not gonna be flawless. Shocked that I didn't take damage there. Then, of course, because I even had the thought. I hadn't even voiced the thought yet. And immediately, because I thought about the fact that I didn't take damage, I, of course, took damage. Getting greedy. Just need to move on with my life. Getting really greedy. But it's kind of paying off. Did I not get anything? Oh, I think there's going to be a boss, isn't there? Yeah. I actually have not killed this guy before. We fought him, but we lost. Because he did that right there, and I didn't see it coming. Okay. Explain to me the physics of how that one worked. Resonant Helm. Ooh, I got my Helm upgrade. Nice. Wait, what is making me dash? Oh. I don't even remember getting that. Reset my camera. If I were to ask for any one piece of quality of life, it would be that your camera resets on its own. Boss is down there. Black magic bars your way. Stop, please stop trying to jump out of the level. Boo, not cool. Go down. Black magic down there. I fucking love that. That was unnecessary. Um, made that way harder to myself than I needed to be. Could have just, um... Could have just, uh, made a double jump there instead of... 
Can, can we get them to yell at us again? No, because there's a thingy there. And I took damage because I'm being stupid. That was fucking karma. Instant karma. I can't jump faster than that. Um, we had like 9 million tokens last time and we never found one of these token machines. But now that we have no tokens, of course there's a token machine. Immediately. This boss fight is more or less focused on chasing the boss, at least for the first part of it. Man, I'm hitting her hard, though. Nice. And the full heal from the 40 HP. Well, mostly full heal from the 40 HP. Greatly appreciated. Call the heaven. I mean, that looks like chain lightning. Okay, so I call it down to me. It does damage on the way down, but that also... Very cool. Let's go to Echo Beast Cave. Echo Beast Central Cave. I saw a tip there about something about buying stuff at shops, but I did not catch what it said. I know I've said this about it in every ever area, more or less, but another very cool mechanic that I'm a huge fan of is this digging mechanic here. Ooh, we did the fight him? Oh, we do. Hux border, bo mm. Hux boulders. Well, when near full life. So this is a. He just killed me. But I got the thingy. Can I scrap from in here? I don't think so. I just realized I have no way of healing. I'll have to do something about that eventually. What? Hit me the second time. Oh, thank god. Thank goodness. Maybe it'll tell me what that does. Nope. 50% chance to use a machine for free. Enemies drop more armor, charges that deal bonus damage. I'm gonna go for the armor scavenger, because it might help me survive. 
Another very safe laboratory. Okay, incredible protection shields. The frailest core. Or massive damage increase for everyone. Hmm. I mean... The crazy thing to do would be Violence Enhancer. Massive damage increased for everyone. Incredible protection shields the frailest core. So this is probably going to give me a crazy amount of armor, but give me no HP. But enemies drop more armor. Oh, jeez. Okay. I'll take a screenshot of that because that's probably going to be um, the thumbnail here. Well, this has become a very different run all of a sudden. Even more armor. Wonder what our armor cap is now. Yeah, energy's been like, or uh, healing's like nearly useless now. Guess we have no need for the healing we were asking about. And I believe this is boss. We also have a scavenger guy here. We can sell some stuff. Um, technically, that doesn't do anything to me, right? Oh, I have one HP now. Well, that is not what I expected was going to happen. So the only reason I had more than one HP is because of that. So if I pick up more HP, it might actually give me HP. Good to know. We'll go ahead and use our doppelganger power right away and see if we can get a whole bunch of damage out. Weirdly enough, um... Having, having Matt's HP at all times is making this crystal thing that we had really good. It's just chucking out. So this counts as being a max HP. I, th I bet there's other things that synergize with that. We need to be on the lookout for synergy. Be still and survive. Catching Raijin Call also increases the damage. Mm, yep. Water Grav. Let's go for deep first. Let's go for deep first. So we're about 33 minutes in. We'll do at least one more level. I don't want to make this too long, but I also don't want to cut short. Combo Demon. You need power chains on enemies. You need power chains on enemies to deal an extra 20% per power. Enemies retaliate when slain. Sure. I don't. I don't 100% know what that means. Oh, I want you dead. I want you dead so much. Did I salvage it or did I grab it? I think I salvaged it by accident. It's okay, I don't have a lot of cores right now. But I didn't actually want to salvage it for the record. There's a little tutorial room on the fact that those work the way they do. I already know that though. Ah! Can't kill those things. Just write this down, right? And we got Snake Boy.
on. He randomly turned faster than he was before. Okay. Trade attack damage for energy, HP, and power. Mm, no, thank you. Attack damage up, power damage down. Ah, uh, let's go for a Jennifer. Also gave me some bonus HP. Okay. I mean, I'm not going to complain. 20 armor at level start. Sure, sure, sure. 21 HP now. It's just a straight upgrade. Okay, so the pink, purple ones are bad. Having multiple crystals going like this is uh, confusing, to say the least. Not sure, like, what to dodge. It's getting very chaotic. Pretty sure I'm not getting a reward at all. Oh wait, it's done. Received blessing. Um, can't scrap it. That's unfortunate. I need armor. Boss fight. Okay. We can do this, I believe. Might as well grab the court cinder. 10 HP is one money. What's over here first? Um, tats kill. Or tat attack kills restore more energy. Four way. Four way dash midair. That's very nice. Two second hover. Repros act as if one level higher. Core points point five. That's nice. So I can dash on the ground or in there now. I wish I could buy that. Um, I'm gonna buy this. Time's up, hero. 50 armor right now. So I essentially have 71 HP. I can do this. Hello, back, gracious host. Took most of our damage and HP there. More server HP and damage. You know what I meant. That air dash is actually way more valuable than I thought it was going to be. Ooh. See it. I thought I was dead. Power combo. Also Fune. Also Fune was 
really good. I think we'll replace that with this and then put this. Hmm. I like I like Raijin Call. Also, Tina is this, by the way. I'm not really gonna use the Void Double, so I'm gonna put these up here. Okay, well, this is a pretty good time to stop. So we're going to go ahead and save it right here. But um, this has been 30XX. Um, hope you guys are enjoying the video. And if you are, you know, feel free to leave, like, subscribe, all that, etc. stuff. And I hope you have a good day. Goodbye.